Okay, so I've got my first side here that I'm going to cut out, and I'm going to show you how to cut that out using a coping saw. So if you have a coping saw, this is the perfect saw for cutting this thing out. This is like um, a bandsaw, right? It's got a nice thin blade, so it cuts curves very easily, and you're the motor. So you're going to have to hang it off the side of the, uh, the bench here. So I think I'm going to try to move this a little bit closer so you can see a little bit better. All right. So I'm going to hang this over the bench. And uh, first thing I'm going to cut is along this line here. And remember, you're cutting outside the lines. You want to leave your lines on the piece that you're making. That way uh, you can sand closer to it and make it perfect. Once you cut away those lines, your piece is going to be too small. Okay, so I just cut that straight piece right there. And now I'm going to cut um, along this curve. So I'm just holding it down with my hand here. And I'm getting next to that line. Oh, uh, you can see how it's kind of floppy. So uh, the closer you're holding it to where you're cutting, the sturdier it will be. And you can go as slow or as fast as you want. Or you can go fast. Just uh, make sure that accuracy is your first concern. So you want to be right next to that line. You don't want to be. You don't want to cut the line off. a chance to improve it closer to those lines. So you can see I've got my line still. I haven't cut it off, but I've cut right along it. 